Hi, Anthony Echo here with Rabbit Hole TV. We're doing Best of Fest South by Southwest General Admission Spectacular. We're talking to a couple of the filmmakers of one of the best hits of the festival, the horror comedy Snatchers. So who are you guys and what's the movie? Uh, I'm uh, Steven Cedars. Hello. Hi. I'm Benji Kleiman. Hello. And the movie is about a, a high school girl who has sex for the first time and wakes up nine months pregnant with an alien. And craziness ensues. That's exactly right. Uh, what would you describe the genre? Uh, definitely horror comedy and uh, a little bit of sci-fi thrown in there. And, um, and and a little bit of a, a, a little foreign cinema. A little foreign <laughs> cinema, yeah. There's a, there's a uh, if you liked this on Netflix, you'd also like this. That's a big genre of the movie. <laughs> Is it any good? Uh, it's okay. Can we swear on uh, this? Huh? Can we swear oh, on yeah, this? Absolutely, please. It's fucking spectacular. <laughs> we 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 truly spent eight years of our lives working on this movie. Yeah. So I would, so there's 16 years of between of us. work between just the two of yeah. us. And not to mention the whole cast and crew. I had a full head of hair when we started. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but it's been a long it's been a long time that we've worked that we've been working on. That's a terrible sentence. We've worked on this movie for a long that was time. So <laughs> thank good, you, dude. Thank that you, was right? so good. It felt really good. Yeah. Uh, who were some of your influences? Definitely wow. Sam Raimi off the top. I Sam mean, Raimi. That's not obvious. For sure. Edgar Wright. Yeah. Um, Spielberg. Spielberg. Uh, Brian De Palma. Yeah. Big influence. Cronenberg. Cronenberg. Sure. And, and then, um, yeah, do we want to say specific movies or do you just want directors? Oh, uh, uh, whatever you'd like. This, this, this actually belongs to you guys. Wow. 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 Um, so a couple other movies that we've just been telling people were, were big influences are definitely The Fly, the David Cronenberg movie, Men in Black, mm -hmm. Cabin in the Woods, um, Jurassic Park, Jurassic huge Park. one, yeah, yeah, for sure, um, and um, Mrs. Doubtfire, Mrs. Doubtfire, Doubtfire. yeah, throw it in yeah, there. Yeah. I saw the playing actually at the festival very randomly. <laughs> um, what else did we want to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, I, I remember you saying that you guys shot one scene as proof of concept. Um, I'm I'm dying to know what which scene was it. It's actually the scene where uh, Sarah gives birth. Spoiler alert: she gives birth. Um, uh, do, did we already say what she gives birth to? Yes, yes an yeah. alien. An alien. The, the, she the, gives birth yeah. to an alien. The first scene where we meet the alien, where all that happens, was was a originally a short film that was a oh, proof of concept. Yeah, for the that, rest of the movie. that and that proof of concept actually aired at South by in 2016 as a short film. So full circle, baby. Yeah, yeah. Our, our little alien baby grew up at this festival. <laughs> and it's terrorizing the festival! <laughs> um, let me ask you something. What, what, is, uh, what does it take to get something like that in front of uh, like producers and people who would uh, who help bring it to life? Well, it's a great question. And uh, th the reason we made the proof of concept is we had written a feature-length script and we knew so much in our bones that it was funny and it was cool and it was something that we would want to see and no one could understand what when they would read it. We had a manager, but he was like, I don't really, no one really got what the tone of it was. Mm. And so he encouraged us to shoot one scene from it. He was like, if you guys are confident in what is funny about it, shoot that. So we took all of, we had saved all of the money, me, Steven, and our writing partner, Scott, and we put all of our money into it and made this. So that, that was how, it, once we made something that we felt was good, it was a little easier to get in front of people. Yeah. Nice. Um, would you want to talk about your, your kick-ass cast for a second? Absolutely. I'm going to tell a story that I feel like every director tells uh, for their movie, which is that we... So Mary Neppy plays um, Sarah Steinberg, the, uh, the main girl, and then uh, Gabriella Elise plays her nerdy ex-best friend. And for both roles, we literally hadn't found anyone until the last person who was them, and they blew us away. And they have so much... Um, just they're such empathetic people like you identify with them so much and really our our script to that we wrote with uh, our our writing partner Scott Yakushin doesn't work without the two of them they really like grounded it like it was it was way bigger and they just really they they're so real uh and so they they really make, pulled the movie down to earth and also have whip smart yeah, well that's yeah, not yeah. exactly yeah. they have razor they have razor a razor sharp Wit, I would, is what yes. I was trying yeah. to say. They, they do comic, great comic time. Yeah, they both really understand comedy. And, and just to piggyback on what Stephen's saying, I think where all horror comedy uh, has the chance to go wrong is in being too broad and too silly in a movie that otherwise would be really cool. And so they are the guardians of the tone of this movie. They did a spectacular job, and we would love them to death. Yes.
I have to agree. Um, there's actually there was actually a lot of uh, horror stuff. Uh, we had we had Snatchers, we had Us, we had the Pet Cemetery remake, yeah, yeah. and uh, well, actually, frankly, um, our fucking motel room. To be perfectly honest, uh, um, <laughs> n- uh, a little quick story. Uh, you guys were were giving out uh, sna- Snatchers themed condoms yeah. at the Paramount at the first viewing. Uh-huh. We've actually been using them to walk around in our motel because <laughs> because it's just that gross. Because you can't use them for on fucking apparently. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. yeah there's so. a little disclaimer that says you can't use them for sex. I think they're fine. Yeah. The, the packaging, like, because they're wrapped, but the actual condom themselves do say, go ahead, yeah. use it for sex. Yeah, I think Warner Brothers is like, no thank you, don't use it. <laughs> uh, but I'm oh, thrilled sorry. you're using it on your feet. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, what was co-directing like? What? <laughs> uh, it was beautiful. We're, we're, we've known each other since we were uh, in fourth grade. Mm-hmm. Um, and so from what we hear, there are other teams who are like, one person talks to the actors and one person talks to the camera and we don't do that. We basically, we share 99% of our tastes and then all our disagreements we get out ahead of time so that on set we're effectively the same person and we give all the same answers. And honestly, I couldn't do it without this guy. I he could sh- do it without me. I could but- not do it without him. We, we, uh, we Many times we'll just sit there and go, why are you such a good director and I suck? And then yeah. the other one goes, no, you're such a good director. So yeah, we exactly. love each other very much. We love much each other. And, uh, and we, uh, we, 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 we've been doing it together our whole lives, so I don't think we would even know how to do it That's correct. Apart. It really shows. You can feel the love in the movie, wow. like, even, even through all the, the gore and the violence. Um, what is the status of the film now? Uh, uh, it's th- complicated. Uh, the, stat- <laughs> the status is it, we're show, looking for distribution. Yeah. So if so anyone wants to distribute our movie, this guy plays Skyler in the movie. He's I gotta go. Right. I gotta we go. love you. We love bye, you. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Are you leaving? Okay. He's leaving. Okay. Really funny guy. Yeah, yeah. He was hilarious. <laughs> he is the best. That's a hard role to make uh, to make work like that. Yes. He's yeah. he's uh, he has a thing which is very rare, which is he's incredibly handsome and he's also super duper funny. The worst. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we of course <laughs> yeah. hate him because we're like, choose one, man. Yeah. You only get one. I spent my whole life going, it's okay, I'm not handsome, I'm funny. And then yeah. he was like, hey, both. <laughs> hey, both. Austin Freiberger. His last name is Freiberger. Pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the first day that our producer picked him up from the airport to shoot uh, the beginning of the movie, he was like, can we stop for a burger and fries? And it was the most beautiful thing that ever happened. <laughs> um, well, we only have uh, one more question, so we won't keep you guys anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you guys know where you can find some Coke? <laughs> <gasps> No. <laughs> well, we actually, I actually also don't. <laughs> we, yeah, we're big. It's funny because I'm going to use that question. At, can I use it as a segue? Absolutely, please. This is a. This will be a bizarre segue. But a lot of people, like when they watch the movie, they're like, and our old sketches. And our too. old sketches, they're like, wow, you guys must smoke so much weed because your sketches are and like your movie is so crazy. And the reality is that uh, we actually just drink coffee yeah. and bang our heads against a wall <laughs> and like re- drive ourselves crazy yeah. and so and it's not always fun but it is joyful yes and it's always rewarding it's always rewarding yeah that's a better answer no, i liked everything <laughs> uh anything else at the festival that you liked or just snatchers uh i saw i saw <laughs> good boys last night and i really really liked it yeah. uh that's a very funny movie we also saw saint francis yeah, saint francis was really great our actually our cinematographer also shot saint francis and it's a beautiful movie and it just won the an award it was like a it special a- jury recognition for breakthrough voice yeah so go see that it's really really great hopefully that gets distribution too yeah great um, I think that about does it. Guys, thank you so, awesome. so much for Dude, taking your time out. It was we pleasure. really appreciate it. Wow, thank Thanks you guys so thank, much. Thank you very cool. much. And we love the movie. Snatchers. Find it. See it. Destroy it. <laughs> Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. <laughs> uh, wow, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. That was a pleasure. Thank you very, very, oh very I'm much. So you, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Most directors so tend much. to be dicks. But you guys are <laughs> very... That, have you really found that to be true?